Well, yeah, that's my home. Now we're gonna go to take the bus. That's gonna take it to the. Is the name is Pre Columbus Gold Museum, something like that. It's before you know all the Spain colonization. Okay, this is dangerous. I'm just gonna go through this. This is the train station. This is a parking lot, but here you can walk and go all the way through to the main street. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's go. Well, as you can see, this is the main street. If you go that way, you're gonna get to the city called Cartago. Cartago was the former capital city, but I mean, not anymore. So we're gonna go that way, so we can get to the to the city uh, downtown. Because basically the museum is right in the center of the city. So let's go that way. This is a bus station. We're gonna take any bus that go this way, and this direction is gonna take us to the museum. So let's go. Okay, this building over here is called Indoor Club. It's where all the people with money comes to play. You know, tennis, swim, and I don't know what other things they do. Something that you are gonna basically find everywhere in Latin America is this you can see graffiti all over the place everywhere is full of graffiti that's something that you, you, I think you can find any Latin country Okay, so we get down the bus and now we have to, to walk like three or four hundred meters and we're gonna be at the museum. As you can tell, we don't have the best streets and it has been raining all these days. So there is garbage everywhere. Some people say that the, um, the city in general smells bad, like peace. I can smell so I cannot tell you, but yeah, it's not the greatest and cleanest city in the world. This one is the Avenida Central or Avenida Segunda, I do not remember. But pretty much you can find here like everything you need. Um, this is a really, really long way that you have to walk like all the way down there. But uh, they, here you have stores, you have restaurants, you have everything you need. Basically everything you need. I'm talking about restaurants, I need a place to eat. So let's gonna find one. Well, we finally made it. We are in Plaza de la Cultura. All this is Plaza de la Cultura. This building over here is the National Theater. But this Plaza de la Cultura for me is the, like the center of the city. I'm below the Plaza de la Cultura. I mean below everything is the Gold Museum that is actually right behind me. Over there is the main entrance. But yeah. And over there you can find the doves. No, doves, no, the pigeons. They were the reason why I was making fun of the Peruvian guys. So I'm going to show you. Well, now I'm on top of the Plaza de la Cultura and here you can see a lot of pigeons. That's why I was making fun of the guy from Peru. People here come, they throw like some food, so the pigeons come together and you can take some pictures. We don't actually do that. I mean, the Costa Ricans, we do don't, don't do that. At least not the ones that live in the capital, because let's be honest, those pigeons are quite disgusting, like really dirty. So we don't do that. But well, this is Plaza de la Cultura once again. Teatro. National, National Theater, and below, all this below, is the, the Gold Museum. We have more pigeons here, and some of the stuff that we're gonna find below Plaza La Cultura, as I said, and the Gold Museum, like this one.
we're not supposed to take videos, but let me let me do my best because I'm Latino. Come on, I need to break the rules. <laughs> so let me see what I can do. el territorio es nuestra casa porque no es solamente, es una tierra es todo lo que contiene el territorio es el bosque, es el agua los animales, nuestros hijos nosotras y en el día de hoy que se ha convertido en el día de hoy que se ha convertido en el día de hoy el territorio es importante porque es nuestra historia es donde vivimos es nuestra esencia y somos eso 
La pérdida de un pueblo empieza su identidad cuando empieza a perder su tierra. La tierra es la que nos da la vida, la que nos da el sustento, la que nos da la cultura, la que nos da eh, toda la, la vida de un pueblo. Está dicho siempre, los indígenas en tierra de un humano. Well, and pretty much this is the end, and um, the last part, the last floor, you, like can say, you can find what is like maps and how Costa Rica territory changed, you know, through the years. But I mean, you can totally Google that. What I wanted to show you were like the little pieces of gold in the shape of some of the gods, the people, you know, the native beliefs, so many years ago. But yeah, pretty much this is the museum. Now we're gonna go out. We just have to go through the stairs to the top and we are out and that's it we're finally out as you can see and now if someone asks you hey do you know the gold museum in costa rica you can totally say yes i'm looking to a different way because now i'm not using the gopro i'm using my cell phone so it's like kind of hard so ignore that part okay ah, and i'm gonna show you one more thing i don't know in morocco but i saw in qatar and in dubai the taxis there are from different colors well they have different colors I'm gonna show you the Costa Rican ones. These ones are red. Well, the ones close to the airport are orange, but the regular, the normals are red. And I'm gonna show you. And as you can see, they are red. Um, pretty much that was everything. Thank you so much for watching. Eh? And I love you so much. Take care.